is a good day, sir. I am Jomar L. Sarfida, and I'm about to uh, present my lecture notes uh, regarding the topic from Chapter 6, which is Composite Generation and Transmission uh, Systems, a book by Mr. Ronald Billington, uh, titled Reliability Evaluation of Bar Systems. Okay, so uh, unfortunately for sir, the camera of my laptop is broken. So as you can see, agi uh, off nang lako siya since pagyon ako. Uh, black lang makita, dili makita ang ako face. Okay, so from the previous chapters uh, of the book, the course had taken up the probability, the probability and statistics, hazard function and reliability models, the rela reliability functions, the availability and unavailability state probability and state frequency, the mark of chain, and so on. Okay, so this time, I'm going to discuss about the composite generation and transmission system. The chapter consists of nine parts, and we are going to go through each one of them. Okay, so uh, we have the introduction, major configuration, uh, conditional probability approach, network configurations, state selection, system and load point indices, application to practical system, data requirements for composite system, reliability evaluation, and also we have the conclusion. <clears throat> okay, so um, let's proceed now to introduction. Okay, so one of the basic objectives of power system planners is to determine the necessary generating capacity to satisfy the system demand of the presence of scheduled and unscheduled outages and unforeseen variations in the system load. A second important objective is the development of a suitable transmission network uh, to transport the generated electrical energy to the bulk load centers. Okay, so uh, this aspect is dealt with in conjunction with the uh, available and planned generation facilities. So lastly, uh, adequate distribution facilities must be constructed in order to deliver the available energy from the bulk load centers to the actual customer premises. The reliability at which these three subsystems, namely generation, transmission, and distribution will function is of utmost um, importance. Okay, so um, transmission network can be divided into two general areas, both transmission and distribution facilities. So the distinction between these two areas cannot be made strictly on a uh, voltage basis, but must include the function of facility within the system. So first we have the distribution facilities. Distribution facilities means those facilities by and through which electricity is received from transmission services provider and distributed to the customer and that are controlled or operated by a distribution, distribution service provider. And we have the bulk transmission facilities. Bulk transmission facilities means the transmission facilities connecting power supply facilities to the sub transmission facilities, including both high and low voltage reside. Vol, vol, low and high and voltage sites of the transformer are uh, used to connect to the sub transmission facilities as well as related supervisory control and data acquisition. Okay, so, a uh, coupling between these two systems, the bulk transmission and distribution facility, uh, can be accommodated by using the load point indices evaluated for the bulk transmission system as the input reliability indices of the distribution. Okay, so as power system engineer, pohon, pag kami may engineer or kanang po mga engineer na mga engineer na, therefore, they must consider the reliability aspect right from the beginning uh, or from, from the planning stage pa lang. <clears throat> consider na na. Okay, so the models used to represent the bulk facilities should be capable of including both static and dynamic considerations. So the static evaluation of the system's ability to satisfy the system load requirements can be designated as the adequacy evaluation and is subject of this chapter. So concern regarding the ability of system to respond to a given contingency can be designated as security evaluation. So this is an extremely important area which has not yet received much attention 
in regard to the development of probabilistic indices. So uh, the total problem of assessing the adequacy of the generation of bulk power transmission systems in regard to providing a dependable and suitable supply at the terminal can be designated as composite system reliability evaluation. Now we also uh, talk about, <clears throat> about uh, regional configurations. So one of the first uh, one of the first major application of up composite system evaluation was the consideration of transmission elements in interconnected system generating capacity evaluation. This is done by uh, using the array method and equivalent unit approach. Uh, we have here some definitions we should know first. Oh, actually, most to the other way, LOLE, uh, the, law, the loss of load expectation, which is a study investigates the expected number of days per year for which available generating capacity is insufficient uh, to serve the daily peak demand. Also, we have LOEE, loss of expectation, uh, loss, loss of energy expectation. Uh, the technique considers the important factors which actually affect, affect the system cost behavior. So the analysis at load point L can be done using those na, mga terms na to be defined kay na based on LOLE and LOEE techniques. Okay, so uh, the linking configuration between the two generation source, the load point may not be a simple series parallel type shown in figure 6.1. Can in <clears throat> figure simple range of generation, it may not be as simple as parehas ani na figure, but could be a relatively complicated DC transmission configuration where the transmission capability is dependent upon the availability of the rectifier and inverters bridges. Okay, so uh, the filters at each end and the associated pole equipment. Okay, so the progressive development of an equivalent model is relatively straightforward for radial configuration such as that shown. Okay, so this approach, however, is not suitable for network configurations, including this first generation and load points. A more general approach is required, which can include the ability of the system to maintain adequate uh, voltage levels, line loadings, and steady state stability limits. Okay, so that's it for this uh, video, video, sir. Um, we have taken up uh, radial configuration and also the introduction. Okay, so for the next video, we are going to talk about the conditional probability approach. So, so now, thank you, sir.